uh, pulse medium and uh, propagations. Okay, let's say you have something dropped on uh, water. Okay, you drop some things into this water. All of us know that, okay, if you have something dropped into the waters, then it will produce a disturbance. Okay, this is the, called a disturbance. Eh? You produce a disturbance. Okay, and this disturbance is called a pulse. This disturbance is called a pulse. Eh? Okay, if you have just one disturbance, then it, it, it's just a pulse. But if you have a continuous disturbance, not just one, okay, continuous disturbance, then it's called wave. Eh? And the water, the water is called the medium for the motions of the pulse. Eh? Okay, the water is called the medium. And if you have continuous disturbance, then so we call that a wave. So that is what does it mean by wave? Okay, it's a continuous disturbance. Eh? It's continuous disturbance. And then the way, the way the wave move or the way the wave travel is called the propagations of the wave. Propagations, because uh, uh, usually when I ex explain some things, okay, uh, students will always ask, what does it mean by propagation? Propagation is the motions of the wave. How the wave move is called the propagations of the wave. Eh? So that is uh, what does it mean by a pulse, a medium, and a propagations. Eh? So summary. First, you need to know a wave is a disturbance that travels through a medium without giving permanent displacement to the medium. This is definitions, okay? And then you need to know that for the wave, eh, there are two types of motions. One is the propagations of the wave. Okay, you can see that the wave just now, the wave move from left to right. That is the propagations of the wave eh, from left to right. And there is also motions of the particles of the medium. Okay, and the medium only vibrates about a fixed or an equilibrium positions. So that is what you need to know. Eh? And last things, okay? And you must be careful. A wave transfer energy without transferring the matter. Okay? The wave move from left to right, but the mediums or the, the mediums just oscillate at the fixed positions, okay? Wave is just a propagation or disturbance through a medium. Eh? For example, so let's, let's go back to the second slide just now, okay? So this one. So when you have something dropped on the water, okay, and then the pulse is produced, eh? the pulse transfer energy, okay, it transfer energy, the energy move, eh? but the water doesn't move together. The water, it just vibrates. The water just vibrates. Eh? The water does not move together with the pulse, okay? So what is transfer is the energy and the information, eh? but the medium does not transfer together with the wave. That is the important concepts that you need to know, okay? And it's also the famous questions uh, in exam. Okay, now the first important terms that we need to know is phase. Phase, eh? what is phase? A phase is a fraction of a complete cycle. What does this mean? A phase is a current position in the cycles of something that changes cyclically. What does this mean? Okay, now let's see this example, okay? Uh, let's say we have a vibrating uh, object. Uh, hold on, eh? let me see. I can. Okay, I have one vibrating object. Mm. Let's see whether I can move it. Okay, let me put it here. Let's say we have a vibrating object, okay? It moves up and down. Okay, and then um, this is the displacement time graph. This is the displacement time graph of the vibrating vibrating object. Okay, so from here we can see that initially it's here. Okay, and uh, after a while it moved to the maximum point. Okay, and then it's, uh, back to the center, and then to the minimum point, and and back to the center again. Okay, so a phase. A phase is a physical quantity to tell uh, the positions, the current positions eh, of this vibrating object. Uh, usually, we use the units of angle, degree or radiance, eh, degree or radian to tell the phase. For example, if I want to tell you that the, the object or the vibrating particle is here, okay, so then I will tell you that the phase 
is equal to zero degree. Here, I tell you that the phase is equal to zero degree. And if I want to tell you that the, the object is here, okay, then I will tell you that the phase is 90 degree. Okay, 90 degree. And if I want to tell you that the, the particle is here, then uh, I will say the phase is 180 degree. Now you see the difference between zero and 180 degree. Yeah? Okay, for zero degree, for zero degree, the object actually is moving upwards. But for 180 degree, it's moving downward, even though they are in the same positions. Eh? Even though both of them are in the same positions. But one is moving upwards, one is moving downwards. Eh? So they are in different phase. Okay, they are in different phase. Eh? If I want to tell you that the, the particle is something around here, then I will say the phase is 270 degree. And if I want to tell you that it's here, is 360 degree. Now 360 degree actually is same as the zero degree because both of them are in the same position and moving in the same direction. So, so if I want to tell you that the particle is here, I would say it's maybe 45 degree. Okay. So this is phase. So what is phase? Phase is uh, physical quantities that tell us that where exactly uh, a vibrating object is. Okay. Yeah, for example, if I tell you that the phase is 45 degree, then you know, oh, actually it's moving up and somewhere around here. If I tell you that the phase is 135, then you say, oh, the 135 maybe is somewhere around here. It's moving, you know, it's uh, somewhere around here and then it's moving downwards. A phase is a part or a fraction of a complete cycle. And then it's the current positions of a, in the cycle. Eh? There's some, something that changes cyclically. So uh, in phase, eh? in phase means same phase. Eh? Okay, that, that, that's the terms that we use. Okay, in phase means same phase. Uh, Chi Ming says, so the, the phase is the direction and position. Yes, it tells the position and the directions of the motions. Positions and directions of the motion. For example, eh? even though these two are in the same direction, uh, same position, but in the opposite directions, right? So they are not the same phase. Eh? But this one and this one, okay? Uh, they are in the same position and moving in the same direction, then they are same phase. So it tells the current positions where exactly the object is and which direction is moving. Okay, so that is phase. Huh? So if the same phase, we call it in phase. Huh? That's the terms that we use. But if the phase is not the same, then we say they are out of phase. And if the phase difference is 180 degree, then we say they are anti phase. It's so wave front. Huh? Wave front. So what is wave front? Wave front is a line or a surface that connects points that are moving at the same phase and has the same distance from the source of the waivers. What does this mean, right? Okay. So let's see this example. Let's say we have a wave. And uh, what's the phase at the highest point here? Can any of you tell me? If the phase here is zero, eh? so what's the phase here? How many degree? What's the phase here? 90 degree. Yes, okay. 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360. So here is 0 degree. Yeah? Here is 0 degree. And here is 90 degree. Okay. So the phase at this point is 90 degree. Okay. How about the other points here? Okay. Because this wave, we have the other points around here, right? So, okay. Now, since all of them are at the maximum points, right? So all of them has the same phase. All of them, they have phase 90 degree. Okay, 90 degree. So if we draw a line to connect all these points, we draw a line to connect all this point, and this line is called the wave front. It's called the wave front. So what's, what's the wave front? Wave front is a line that connect all the points that have same phase which is next to each other. So that is wave front. Uh, again, here, there's another uh, point at uh, which the face is 90 degree, right? We draw another line to connect them, so, okay? So this is another wave front, okay? Wave front. Uh. So from now onwards, I won't draw this wave anymore. I would just use a straight lines to represent wave fronts. So next line, when you see straight lines, it means uh, this is a wave front. Okay, and usually it means either the the crest or the trough. Eh? 
Okay, the wave fronts it means either the crest of the trough. So that is uh, what does it mean by wave front? That is a, a lines that connects all the points that have same phase. And there are two things that you need to note about wave fronts. Uh, the characteristics of wave fronts. The first one is the wave fronts are always perpendicular to the directions of the wave. Okay, for example, if this is a wave front, uh, then this is the directions of the wave, 90 degree. Eh? If you see two waves like this, then you should know that the wave is either move left to right or right to left. And uh, if you see a circle, okay, so then uh, this is the directions of the wave. Eh? And then uh, you will find that the, the directions of the wave is always 90 degree with the wave fronts. So wave fronts are always perpendicular to the directions of the wave propagations. Uh, it's important for you to know this. Eh? Okay. And the second thing that you need to know about wave front is it have same distance from the source. Okay. If you check every point eh, of this wave, then you will find that its distance from the source is the same. So that's why it's a circle. Eh? Okay. So every point of the wave fronts same that same distance from the source. And the last terms that you need to know is wavelength. Wavelength. Okay. What is wavelength? Wavelength is defined as the distance between distance between two successive particles which are at the same phase. What does this mean? Eh? Let's say again, just now we learned that these two points, eh? okay, the phase is 90 degree, right? Okay, these two points, the phase is 90 degree, so they have same phase, okay, same phase, and the distance between these two points is called the wavelength. Okay, so that is the difference between two successive particles which are at the same phase. Okay, or uh, the trough here, also same phase. So the distance between these two points is called the wavelength. Or maybe from the center to the center. Okay, and this is also the wavelength. So what is wavelength? Wavelength is the distance between two successive particles. Uh, just now it's the next particles. Eh? Okay, if two, two particles next to each other, that is wave, wave front. But two successive particles which have the same phase, the distance between them is called the wavelength. Okay, so that is wavelength.